Hello fellow survivors and bunny and welcome back to another episode of Road to 500 Days and we're gonna go to Coastal Highway today. Before I do anything though let me pick this up. Easy to forget that. And we're gonna head out. We're still in the ravine. It's pretty clear out. Nice part of the day. So I think we're just going to head out really. There's nothing we really need here. We could of course get some bunnies but we don't really need to. Unless, how's my food situation? 12. Ah, it was fine. So we can leave that. Although it is sunny out. I think we'll leave that for later. Yeah. So we're going to head now off to Coastal Highway and start exploring that. I'm going to set up a base as well. We're not going to be able to explore it all in one episode, of course. But we're going to do a few areas and we're going to choose a base. And I also want to show you beachcombing because they are changing how beachcombing works in the game. And this is one of the last opportunities I have to show you how it worked before. So um, this episode is recorded prior to the part two of the DLC, which is planned to be released on March 30th, which is around the corner from now. So it's quite possible that when you watch this episode, they have already changed some of these systems. But we'll get to that. Before I do anything else though, we're going to head out of here. But remember in another episode I said there is a shortcut down to the ravine. And it's over here. It is possible to climb down into the ravine without the rope. So here is the cave that led down to Bleak Inlet. I went there in a blizzard. Here's the entrance to Bleak Inlet here. And here's that cave. And over here is the, at least the rope that goes up. Actually you can see the rope over there. Yeah. And if you try to barely go down here, it looks like you can do it easily, right? But you will die. There'll be a death fall. However, there is a shortcut, at least as of this video, that you can do. You can go here and go uh, on top of these. Stay as high as you can. And once you get past these rocks, you can take down these, this slope down here. And you actually end up on the other side of the loading screen to begin with. And that's a shortcut you can use to actually get down. I usually never do it, though, on a survival run. <coughs> Because you don't want to make a mistake and then the run ends. So I'm not going to do it in this run. If you do want to see that shortcut in action, I have some videos where I do it. You can look up my Dark Walker speed run, for example. Uh, I think also As Dead Sleep speed run. I do it in both of those. And there's also a survival uh, episode I had, which was called Endless Night, where I spawned near here in pitch darkness and I did the shortcut as well so you can uh, you can check out those if you want to see how to do the shortcut for now though, we're gonna head out we're gonna head to coastal highway the weather is good we're barely cold at all so this is looking really really great I could have taken advantage and lit a torch with the mag lens but um, I don't think it was necessary I don't need it for anything and also the um, um, the weather has changed now, so I can't do it now anyway. So here we come to the Ravenfall, uh, the, Ra the Ravine Bridge, which I think is called the Ravenfall Threshold. And the first time I played the Long Dark and I came here, it was terrifying because you have this gap in the railroad, and it was just so so scary to do. But it's, it's not too, too hard to do. Just it, whenever you approach things like this, remember to turn off auto walk. <laughs> uh, auto walk is a great feature in the game. Makes it a bit easier to travel. But it's a really dangerous to have it on when you get to places like this. So just deactivate it by going backwards or something. So here we are. Here is the, um, the little gap. There we are. It is possible to sprint across this. It's also possible to jump across it. But you have to be very, very careful. Don't bother trying. And there we are. And now we're safe. And that's the ravine for you. Let's go to Coastal Highway. In Coastal Highway, there are usually two places I use as bases. And the main one is usually the fishing uh, cabins because it's an outdoor workbench there, so it's a bit easier to maintain cabin fever. But uh, we'll see, we might go to the garage this time, 
it might be easier to do that. Also, you can get the moose spawn there, so if there is a moose, we'll definitely go there. <clears throat> we might have the first right away. Okay, so here we are, Coastal Highway. Uh, a few episodes ago... Hold on. Okay. Yeah, so back here we are. Doorbell. There's Coastal Highway. Um, this was the most requested region, so a few episodes back I did ask if people had a request on where I should go when I finished in History Lake. And I kind of had my eyes on Coastal Highway anyway, but most people wanted me to go here. Is there a corpse? No. And um, I'm a bit torn which way to go. I think I'm gonna go down the river, because down the river you get the cattails, and we can have that while we hunt for food. So I'm gonna grab them. We have to be careful with the bear though, although I might kill the bear, but I don't think so. I'm gonna follow the river for a little bit, but not all the way down. We'll do the rest of the river later. I just wanna get some cattails first. And then I might go back up to the trailers and then head towards the um, uh, the garage because I think I want to establish a base before I do any kind of hunting. And I can drop stuff in the base and that sort of thing. Yeah, Coastal Highway is a great region. It was uh, It's one of the oldest regions. I think it was the first region to be added to the game other than Coast, uh, Mystery Lake itself. <coughs> And it's a, it's a very good start, the region. It's kind of like a much more forgiving version of Forsaken Airfield, in that it's uh, wide and open, so you can kind of see everything. And I think that's it. I'm gonna take this route later. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna head back up to those trailers. And I'm gonna check there to see if there's any loot. And then I'm gonna take the route to the lookout tower. Ooh, maple. And then go to um, the garage. We'll probably use the garage as a base. Because there's a potential moose spawn at, uh, at the garage. And also you have wolves. So if I need wolves, that's fine. There's a bear usually there. And you have access to fishing house. It's a great, great base. I do, however, sometimes use the fishing cabins instead just because the fishing cabins um, they have the outdoor workbench which makes it a little bit easier to cure cabin fever and that sort of thing yeah coastal highway is a great region if you're new to the game especially i think it's a great region to to uh, practice the game on i don't think you can actually get up this way that i'm going <laughs> that's all right We'll go as far as we can. And then we'll go this way. And we're going to stay here for a little while to establish a base. Let's get over to the uh, road over here. There's a wolf around here, so we've got to be a little bit careful. I don't think I've ever gone this way before. Or something new. So there's a little bit of a detail the route I took. I wanted to get the, those cattails because the only place that has cattails in this region is uh, that river. And I could take it all the way down, but the issue is then then I'm doing kind of like a large loop towards the, what I want to make my base, and I want to get to the garage as soon as possible. Well, not as soon as possible, but you know relatively straight beeline. I'm gonna loot up here though. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back up here because it's one of those dead end areas that you often don't return to unless you're leaving the area. So we're gonna go in here and check the trailers out to see if there's any any loot. So 
sorry if my movement is a little bit off. I haven't actually played the, the long dock in a little while <laughs> because of my um, uh, recently became a father and um, I haven't had the time to play so my sensitivity of my mouse feels a bit off. <laughs> I haven't really touched it in a little while. Let me see if there's anything around here. Sometimes there's wood and things like that around. Doesn't seem like there's anything though. Oh yes, there is. Nothing on him though. But yeah, this episode is probably going to come out probably after... Um, the DLC release and that will affect Beachcombing, which I will explain. Alright, I think I'm going to use this. Let's see here. Let's uh, check out this. Might harvest this old bedroll. Can find a hammer in here, I believe. I think I found a hammer in here. Or was it, no, it's hacksaw. I found a hacksaw in here. Where's the hammer? I can't remember. Oh, something under here. Beef jerky. Anything else? I think that's it. Yeah. We're going to grab this though. For cloth. Warm up a little bit too. There we are. Oh no, it broke. Are you serious? <clears throat> you had so much condition left though. 29% and broke. Okay, that's, uh, that's annoying. However, this is not that big a deal. We can still use this. But that is unfortunate. Now we're gonna have to <laughs> gonna have to go craft another knife. We'll do that another time though. Not now. As long as we have the hatchet, we're good. Hatchet is is what matters. You want the hatchet for defense. The knife is mainly there to speed up things like gut harvesting. That's the main purpose of the knife. There have been situations where I thought if there's any point even bringing it. It is a little bit faster to harvest meat from a carcass if it is a ford, if you use the knife. I usually just use the hacksaw or something. I don't have the hacksaw yet. <clears throat> now it's very foggy out, so it's easy to get lost here. But you can just follow this road really. There's a few things to explore here though. So we're gonna go down, we're not gonna follow the road actually, we're gonna go down here and find this little cabin that's uh, hidden. It's very easy to miss and if you're looking for that achievement that's called um, I can't remember what it's called but it's like visit all the indoor areas in Mr. Lake and Coastal Highway. It's very easy to miss this one. What was it called? I think it's just called Cabin. There's a deer. It should be around here. Uh, I think it should be in front of us now. Yeah, here we are. <clears throat> this is a little secluded area. Bit of cabin, some rabbits and a deer. Very nice place. Let's see what we got in here. We have... Uh, I could make another knife in... Um, if I find a hammer can make another knife in Desolation Point. That assumes that I find a hammer though, which I would have to find here in Coastal Highway because I don't think you'll find one in Desolation Point no matter what. Desolation Point's a nice little area as well. Okay, guess that was it. Then we're gonna head back to the road because there's a trailer there we're going to loot. And I'm gonna have the flare gun out because there is a wolf around here. And you gotta be careful with that wolf, because uh, he can come out of nowhere. <sighs> a little drink there. Here's the road, and I'm actually gonna go to the left to get out of here, but because, because we're here anyway, 
we're going to grab the trailer. And I could sleep there if I want, because I am getting tired, but the Coastal Highway has loads of places to sleep. There are, there are so many places. Uh, there are trailers, there are cabins, there are huts, there are, there's the garage, there's houses. You, you're never really far from anywhere to sleep in this area. It's very, very easy. And if you were to get lost, if you were to be in a fog like this, just follow a road you find, any road, and it will take you somewhere you can go. Or just choose a direction and go. go. And if you find a wall, just follow that wall. Eventually you'll get to a cabin or a trailer or something. It's kind of hard to get completely lost in this area, unless you're out on, on the ice. And then you can get lost, so that's not so good. No, I can't harvest this because it broke. I didn't think the knife would break because it had 29%. I did think of it, but I was pretty sure that uh, it could, it, it wouldn't break. I was pretty sure, but it did. Let's see. Anything here? No. I guess that's it. Okay, then we're going to continue down the road here and we're going to go ahead back up to... Uh, I would like to go into Cinder Hills Mines to get the stim that's there, but we don't need that right now. We're bound to go there another time. Uh, either to go to Pleasant Valley from here or some sort of connector thing. So that can uh, that can wait. We don't need to go there right now, I don't think. Uh, but we are going to go to the Lookout Tower though. I will check the... The start of the cave though, of the mines, just in case the stim is right there. <coughs> uh, because I'm still warm, I'm not going to sprint, I'm just going to walk for most of this, because uh, it's, it's quite warm now. We're still in the early game, before day 50, so it's still quite warm going out. So I'm going to keep doing that. I'm not going to run until I have to. The main danger of this fog is really that you, you get ambushed by a wolf you didn't know were there. Especially if you if you smell. That's really, really bad. Let's see. So here, it is actually up, uh, up there, and you can barely go down from there to here, but we need to go around. There's a bridge. And there's also a corpse underneath this bridge. I think I may have found a rifle or revolver there. On lower difficulties, not interloper though. Uh, maybe not. But yeah, well we're gonna head up and check out the uh, the lookout tower. Or peek into the mines as well. These things also help you navigate if lost because these things indicate a road. They'll always lead somewhere. They'll lead either out of the region or to a building or to a road or something. Okay. <clears throat> Should be up here on the left. A lot of people miss this path because it doesn't really look like it's a path, but it is there. It's up. I think it's up here. Yeah, here. See? There's a path going up. But this is intentional because it has the road. And then you can go up here. This leads up to the mines. Um, I don't think it's meant to be a secret or anything. It's just that it's a little bit ambiguous that you can go up here. Let's check out this uh, corpse. Nothing. Corpses very rarely have anything on interloper. Like sometimes you're super lucky and you find like a ski jacket or something. But usually on a, on a corpse and interloper, there won't be much stuff on it. And typically you'll find something like, you know, beef jerky. Sometimes matches. I guess that's the best to find. And here we are, yet another trailer. There's quite a few trailers around. I think there's three, is this three trailers? Three or four? Yeah. Three. One, two, three, four. Four trailers. Yeah. All right, so let's check here too. We got some granola. Uh, let's check here. And 
These trailers usually don't have much on interloper, but they are still worth checking because you can find tools in them. And you can also find the jerry can in them. So it's worth checking them out just to see if there is anything. And I don't see anything, so we're going to keep going. Possibly we'll sleep in the, um, the lookout tower. But we'll see. And now we're going to head upwards. And this will lead to the Cinder Hills Mines, which is the connector mine to coastal, not coastal, Pleasant Valley. And um, inside those mines, you can find the a stim on Interloper. It's, it's still there even after the loose changes, it just varies where it is. It can be three different places. Uh, I don't think I can be bothered to go through the whole cave now, because I'm bound to go through it another time in the future. Either from here to Pleasant Valley or the reverse. But I will check the entrance though, just to see if there is some coal and if the stim is there. And if, uh, and then I'll explain either now or another time where those locations for the stim are. Here also I want to have the weapon out, because wolves can be about. You heard the howl there. You can get a wolf patrolling this area. Okay, so here's the mines. If you do something like Hopeless Rescue, you're familiar with this mine, because it, um, you have to go through it to complete the challenge. So let's see here. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, because it's too long, and I have to then go double back. So we're only going to check the opening here. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So the stim can be here on the shelf, which it isn't. That means that it's further in. But I don't think I'm going to do that right now. It's going to grab a few pieces of coal and then that's it. some of these coal respawns it takes um oh we might as well check here seeing as we're here i wanted to get some coal the stim can also be here behind this box which it isn't that means the stim is further into the mines it's um on top of this plank most likely where you connect to pleasant valley and we're not going to go there right now though I was like checking behind here to make sure. Yeah, we'll go and get that later. I just wanted the coal, so I'm just gonna grab those. Because we'll need them for fires. We're definitely gonna do some hunting to establish some food resources here. It's a great region, Coastal Highway. Very good for beginners. If you're watching this and you're relatively new to the game or you haven't played it in a while and you're coming back and you want to get, you know, get better at it, um, I would recommend Coastal Highway as a region to start in, if not Mystery Lake. Because it, it says it's from, it, the difficulty for this region is medium, but it's, I don't feel it is because there are so many buildings in this region. And um, there's quite a lot of, on lower difficulties especially, there's lots of food around. You can find tools, you can do fishing, and you can also, if the weather is good, you can see almost everywhere. So it's very hard to get lost here. So this is a great sort of practice region. It also has a lot of secrets like this mine, uh, the lookout tower is good, and you have the Aurora mine as well. We probably will do the Aurora mine one day. Maybe today, but probably not. Unless an Aurora hits while I'm out. The Aurora mine is a mine at the... Uh, by the road further down into Coastal Highway uh, that you can only access during the Aurora. And there's all sorts of loot down there. On low difficulty, you can find all sorts of stuff. On Intel, but very little, although they have changed it lately and now there's a bit more stuff there. Very, very risky though, because there's a lot of electrocution and stuff. I don't think I'm going to go down there until I have supplies to be able to actually um, survive there should I get stuck. Okay. We're gonna head to the lookout tower now. 
I will either sleep there or uh, we, we might continue. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look. Be able to look out for wolves there. They can be a bit sneaky and be in the way. I do like Coastal Highway. There's lots of things to look out for, uh, lots of things to loot and find. It's a very good area to establish a regional base in. Now for the long haul for any survival run, you do want to have a regional base in every region, maybe even multiple bases. It depends really on your playstyle, because you're going to go back and forth between the places all the time. And the good thing about having at least one base in every region and having some basic supplies in that region, such as water and food, means that you can safely traverse between them. So that if I were to um, travel from, say, Mystery Lake to Quonset Garage as my base, if I have water and food there waiting for me, then if I lose health and I get cold or whatever as I travel, then uh, I know I can heal when I get there. I, can, I have food. I don't have to hunt or anything when I get there. So I like to always have some basic supplies in every regional base in every region. At least one base in every region. I have a main base, which is usually in Trapper's Cabin. And then at least one base per region as well. And that base will always have a few things like uh, food, water, some extra matches, uh, usually a bit of medicine, some extra hides uh, and things to repair stuff with. That's basically what those things are for. And it makes it a lot easier. It means that when you travel between bases later in the game, you don't have to worry too much about, you know, getting there and then getting food. You can just, um, you can just travel and then you're fine. You don't have to do anything else. It does mean you have to supply though. You have to supply the, the base. There we are at the lookout. This is actually a Polaroid location, I believe. But we don't have the Polaroid, so we're going to do that later. We're going to explore pretty much all of Coastal Highway. <clears throat> There's lots of little mini secrets here, lots of little hidden corpses and a little loot. Nothing big, but smaller things. So I'm going to do all of those. There we are, matches. Uh, field dressing. You can find matches here. Um, let's see if there's anything under here. Don't see anything. Guess there isn't anything here. Take the charcoal. Okay. Perfectly fine to sleep there. We're going to take a little shortcut down now to the um, the cabins below. So normally you need to get a rope and then you have to attach the rope anchor to this thing here, right? You have to attach a rope there, but you don't need to do that. You can, of course. And can I map this? I can, because it's getting clear. Hey, but this is a Polaroid location, so um, we'll come back here. But instead you can just go to the left here. So instead of attaching the rope, I mean, if you have a rope and you don't need it for anything, you might as well just attach the rope. But if you, if, you, if you don't have it, you can just go down. This is the plateau here. You can just go down here. It's pretty, very, very easy. It's not particularly steep or anything. You can just, you can go pretty much whichever route you want and it will take you down pretty safely. See, not too complicated. I'm not even stopping really to, oh, a little bit of bruising that. And here we have a little bit of a wood. And a corpse. Sometimes there's a backpack here too. And then there's the other uh, rope that you can use to climb down. You can skip this too though, of course. You can just, again, go to the left of it. This time it's a bit steeper, but not so bad. And you just go down here. Billy Goating down is scary. But you get the hang of it. Sometimes you take minor damage, but eventually you get the feel for it. So, I, if you're not sure, do it very, very slowly. Got some rabbits in. Backpack. Little 
maybe consider going uh, to Quonset. Because in this playthrough, it looks like both of these cabins are burned down. So we're going to check these two. Usually not much loot here, there's some smaller stuff. Uh, these sort of things, like the misc stuff, they don't really need. What I tend to do is I, I pick them all up and I save them in my regional base and then one day in the future at some point I take some of it back to the main base and store it all there like a proper hoarder. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's check this one too. Also let's check behind this. Sometimes there's a pry bar. At least I've seen a pry bar laying behind these ones. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> um. I don't see anything else. Yeah, I guess that's it. Let's uh, have a few cattails. I think I'm going to keep going because if Quonset Garage has a moose spawn, I want to see if I can kill it. So I think I'm going to go uh, and continue. It's getting dark, but it's not that dark. So I'm going to continue. We have to be a bit careful though. There's a bear patrolling this route. So I'm going to take a little bit of a different route and go this way because I don't want to kill the bear right now. I mean, I could, but I don't really need to. So I'm going to go this route instead, like a bit higher up. I think maybe. Are we getting an aurora? Because it's turning kind of green. We'll see. And we're gonna start hunting as well to establish some food Guy supplies. P doesn't seem so crazy right now. Oh, subtitles are subtitles off. I think maybe. Oh, they are. They just bugged. Yeah. I'm just taking this route instead of following the road because I don't want to run into the bear. The issue with this particular bear that's in this location is that he's kind of guarding this tight little road. So the problem is that if you encounter him, you might have to kill him to get past. He's kind of down there. And if I can avoid it, that would be good. We'll kill him another time. We don't need to do it right now. see here. I'm going completely off track here. Give me a second here. I'm just basically kind of billy goating down to a lower path here, which also leads to the garage. There we are. That's better. There's the trailer up there, and another trailer, the fourth trailer. And the bear, he is uh, there on the left, usually. But he can also patrol all the way down here. There he is, yeah, here's the bear. I could kill him, but I don't really need to kill him right now. I would like to get some food first, because if I kill him, then I kind of have to cook as much of him as I can. And that would mean that I have only bear meat, when I really would like to have some deer as well. Some wolves. Now let's see if there's a moose here. There's wolves. Is there a moose? A moose would be really good. But I don't see one. You don't get moose markings for this area. You can have a moose here and there's no markings. But I don't see a moose. I could eat a horse. Sandlock, I love horses. 
All right, we got a clear night at least. Uh, I might kill the wolves if they're in my way, because then at least it will clear up the area. Might as well cook it. Is this scrap metal? Nothing there. We might as well check out this house. I always check the mailboxes. There usually is nothing in there, but sometimes there's stuff. Now, Coastal Highway is also a good place to loot to find some missed clothing. So maybe we're lucky and find uh, wool socks, for example, or one of these, which will be good. So that's a good place to find that. Hey, look, matches. Laying about. How oh, nice. If you want to practice uh, this area also, you can always do the whiteout challenge, which is set in this area. And you can figure out what kind of loot there is to, to find. Probably eat some of the stuff that I find here. <coughs> I think I'll do some hunting in the morning. Need to eat something soon. And I wouldn't say no to some more lantern fuel soon. Might have to do some fishing for that if we don't find a jerry can. I need to do some hunting, need to kill a deer or uh, a moose if lucky, but I don't think the moose is out, at least not at the moment. This is one of those few mooses in the game where there is no uh, there's no markings on the trees for this moose. A few of those in the game. Check upstairs. Come on, give me wool socks. I need wool socks. <laughs> and the thing about this area, the Quanta Garage area, is that it's pretty much random luck which houses are standing because a bunch of different houses around the garage oh, so and dry. it's pretty random whether they uh, are standing or not because it's possible that they're burned down sometimes i find you know four or five of them standing but i have had a run where hey jeans what you'll need where only two houses were standing an interloper. Just two. And all the others were burnt down. So the garage and two houses. And that's it. On lower difficulties though. Uh, you can have. Uh, you can have them all standing. And grab the water as well. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can. I think I'll head into the garage. And I'll loot the rest later. kill this wolf if he's in my way that house is burned down that one's burned down that one's burned down it looks like they're all burned down here but there's also one further up I don't want to get into a wolf struggle here so I'm gonna get this one out because I'm very tired and if you're tired this usually affects the struggle it goes worse Okay. Check out this car. Nothing there. What about here? Okay. And I'm gonna open this. I think I forgot to do that with the other one. I like to open open the hood to in indicate that I looted it. And it's burned down as well, yeah. So there's the wolf. Yeah, you run. Yeah. Let's check here as well. And let's see if there's a hammer, because there can actually be a hammer outside of this garage. 
Let's do that quickly. It can be over here, laying on these uh, these things. Let's have a quick look. Ammo. I don't think so. Not today. It can be. It can. I think it lies here. I think. I think that's where it is. Not today, though. There are loot tables you can look up if you want to. You can look up exactly where all the loot is. An interloper, but I don't do that. I know many of the places to look at to find things, but I don't know which ones will have what in the run. Okay, I think we're gonna go inside. Okay, nothing. This one I think we can't open, no. I'll loot the rest in the morning, we're getting very tired. Okay, I would love it if there's a jerry can in here. <laughs> okay, so here we are in the garage. A lot of people like this as a base. Quite a bit of loot in here, it's a great base. You are surrounded by wolves all the time. Other than that, it's a good base. Can, drink, sardines, beans. Anything in here? No. Water. Hardly any water at all. Okay. We're kind of running out of fuel here. Anything under here? No. Anything hidden? Oh, we got dusting sulfur. Looks like we got some high quality tools. Hey, Hexor. Nice. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Okay. Deceptic. Check here. I'm running out of fuel here. You can grab this water in this bowl, but it's actually not uh, drinkable. Hey, lantern fuel. Nice. That's lucky. Look, I just grabbed it. <laughs> wow, more quality tools. That's insane. It's flickering. I'm gonna use this until it burns out and I'll refuel it. Let's do it now, it's kind of blinking a lot, it's a bit annoying. You fuel that. There we go. Much better. Lots of drawers and stuff to open. I don't want to lose well fed, so I have to eat something soon. Okay, and these these are usually the main storage when I'm here. And for now, I'm just going to put stuff in them. Later, we'll put stuff out on display. Okay, and these as well. Very often, I will use these uh, file cabinets here on my right. Uh, this one. I often use these for uh, storage of uh, wood and charcoal and stuff. Okay, I guess that's it. Hey, gloves. There's always a can here. Hey, and a chocolate as well. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put some stuff down to cure. We're gonna cure these. And then let's douse this. Now I'm gonna put some stuff in here. Anything that we don't need right now, we're gonna put it in here. So we don't need, for example, these two. We don't need this. Uh, we don't need these for the moment. We don't need these. Get rid of these two, why not? Put these in there as well. And these two. Put in a bunch of these. Uh, put in that. And 
that. The feathers we can carry, it's fine. Doing most of this. And here, put everything we're not using. Put that in there. And Tinder, that is fine. This we can read. Yeah, I got a lot of coal. That's the bed. The bed is here. Okay, so let's let's eat some stuff. Uh, I think food poisoning now is okay because I have quite a bit of food. So I'm going to eat the low condition stuff. If I get food poisoning, it's fine. I'm not getting anything so far, how nice. The combo I'm using is quite poor though because I'm getting dehydrated eating some of it. <laughs> there we are. And this. There we go. And let's drink this too and then we'll sleep for 10 hours. There we go. And we should be pretty much fully healed. Oh, we do have an Aurora. <laughs> but I wasn't going to go down to the Aurora Cave now anyway. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's have some more food. Let's eat these. I'm going to drop this ruined one. Because I'm... Oh, these two, because I'm not going to eat them. But if I drop them in the... In the cabinet, it might dis despawn. Still a bit heavy. We can drop some wood in here. We can just drop these, for example. This has been red, so we can drop that. We got some tinder plugs. Which we don't really need, but we can carry it. We have a lot of coal. We can just leave that here, too. Yeah, that's fine, I think. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is that it? I guess so. We can harvest this also. Because no point keeping it. And then we put that in here. It's, it's broken. Well, technically, I think you can repair it in the milling machine. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, I think we're rested enough for now. So I'm going to go outside and see if the moose is there. And if not, we'll uh, go hunting, I think. Moose. Any moose? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, let's check out the rest of this immediate area then. I would like to get a deer. Weather isn't the greatest, so I probably will sleep a bit somewhere. Mementos in the game are in specific locations, but I haven't learned them all, all yet, so I don't know where they are. Although I have a suspicion where this one is. Okay, so all of these houses are burnt down. But I'm hoping... That's a hatter. That at least one of them isn't. So these are all burned down pretty much. Then on this side there's two. The big one is burned down. I think that's the chimney. This one's burned down. But there's a cabin up the road as well. Check the dog house. As long as you find dog food in here. This is burned down as well. Then what we're looking for now then is up here. And there can be a deer up here. So if we do find a deer, I probably will try and kill it. The weather isn't the greatest though, but it's next to a house. So. Let's see, is there a deer? Nice clear day, even if it's uh, windy. As in, visibility is good. Is there a day around here? Yes, no? No, is this... Oh, it's also burnt down. 
Well, then we only have two options left, and I think one of them is also burnt. I'm gonna map this. Because here it's not too cold. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Okay. Let's see. That's burnt. And this one is standing. Okay, so this is exactly actually. I think the one in the, in the back is also burnt. So this is exactly what I talked about earlier. There's only two houses are standing. All the other ones are burnt down. And they're inaccessible. Wolves out. The bear is out as well. Everyone is out. I might kill the bear actually. Because uh, it's a lot of food on him. And I'll just eat some bear meat. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna kill the bear. And the hide can cure while I do other stuff. He can protect me against wolves also, kind of. Hi, Wolfie. I'm gonna go and, and get the bear. It's not very good weather though, but that's okay. Hey, Mr. Bear. I'll see if I can get him to come out with one of these cars. See, where did you go? Let's kill the wolf first. Trigger a charge, shall we? Okay, that's done. Now, bear, come over here. Let's see if I can get him to also come here. And then I'll shoot him from here, I think. Hope he dies, and if not, I'll go around. I'll give it a try. There's all sorts of ways to deal with it. Hey, Mr. Bear. Come on. I'm getting cold here, waiting for you. Hello. Yeah, you've seen me. Alright, let's give this a try. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> okay, that has bugged out a little bit. What is going on? And um, that didn't go exactly as I expected. The plan I had worked, but he completely bugged out and went all over the place, which was not what was meant to happen. That was just weird. Okay, we're gonna make a fire here. Oh, we got him. I think we're gonna do the fire right here. So the idea there was to shoot him twice in the head and then go run around there and then shoot him again, uh, go into the car. But he clearly bugged out because he was like glitching all over the place. So that worked out, but it was not how it normally goes. Alright, there we go. Uh, do I have anything to cook? Let's do this. Make one litre of water. Then we'll harvest. I have to use this. for this. Okay, let's do it again. Two kilos. Oh, wolves. Let's be careful with wolves. Okay. Let's do that. Grab that. Grab that. Grab two of these. And cook them. Okay, 
good. I'm a bit reluctant to put too many sticks on because I want to be able to... The, the wind might change, you know. I'm gonna quarter this guy. Do about half an hour, I think. There we go. That should be done now. There we go. Let's quarter the rest. There we are. It's easier that way. Let's uh, quickly grab two kilos of this. Put that on here. And then we'll grab hide, which we can use later to repair, for example, this. Or we can kill the other bear. And we have the bear bedroll. So we're going to put this, put this to cure over here. So put that here, that here, that here, and that next to these. There we are, curing. Uh, let's grab some of these. See what we got here. Where's the other wolves? There's usually more wolves around. And it's good if we could um, get them too. And I'm just going to move these closer to the fire so I can just do them while I cook. I want to end it in the truck. <laughs> These do despawn eventually. They don't last, so it's better to do them now rather than later. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna use the hacksaw. I think we can just do do it like this. Yeah. We level up some cooking while we're at it. The raw meat we can put here. Not that. That goes there. Yeah, let's eat one of these. We'll deal with the parasites if we get them. That was an odd bear kill for sure. Let's keep going. It takes 52 minutes to harvest one and it takes 52 minutes to cook one. So this is perfect. One, two, three. And next. Oh, this is a small one. We'll do that one later. This is a pretty efficient timing wise. Well I have food also now. One, two, three. Rinse and repeat. How long has this got? Oh, okay. And next. We don't have to cook all of it now. But we do have to harvest all of it now. Two, three. If you're wondering why I'm doing one, two, three, it's because I know that it's just under five kilos, so there'll be five pieces, and I want to drop uh, three of them. Rinse and repeat. I'll just take the parasite risk, I think. One, two, three. Keep cooking. There's this one. There we are, now it's all harvested. How long? 16 minutes. We can probably grab a couple kilos of wolf. I 
which we'll just put next to it here. Cooked. Rinse and repeat. Get as much cooking as done as possible. And the good thing about cooking bear meat is that there's so much of it that um, if I do get cooking level 5, I basically have a load of food here. Okay, it's a little bit risky. Okay. Wind picked up. I'm going to warm up a little bit by crafting this. There we go. And we'll take this. I'm too far from the fire, but I'm warm enough to manage this. Nine minutes, okay. We're gonna have to eat some more of these. Seems like we would be able to cook a lot of this actually, which is great. We got an Aurora again. Yeah, we do. Aurora again. We could go into the Aurora mine, but I'm not going to. We'll do that another time. here. Okay, we should actually be able to cook a lot of this. Which is fantastic. Eat one of them. I'm just going to take the parasite risk for this. And if I get it, you can see me cure it. Why not? This is now harvested completely. Do you have any Aurora wolves around? Let's see what we do. Let's grab uh, this. We need to have the bow out because the stress pistol doesn't work against the Aurora animals. Are they out? There we are. There we are. Now the Aurora wolves aren't even afraid of fire. But they are afraid of light, so if I go, let's see, get him to come over here. Here I should be safe. Where'd he go? Where'd he go, little wolf? Looks like they bugged out a little bit, you could say. I'm not sure exactly what's happening there. This coastal bugway, or you know, why are you being weird? Hmm. Well, they are sometimes weird. The hero wolves, the act really is they're a bit buggy. Like now, he picked up for some reason. Let's see, I can do like this, I can get him to charge me. Uh, well, okay. So hey, if I go here, he shouldn't actually go for me. Hey, are you going for my food? No. See, he won't go for me because I'm in the light. That's your main defense against these kind of wolves. Fire won't do anything. I'm just gonna kill him though instead. Hey. And now he's got this nice green glow to him. But it's just a regular wolf. There's nothing really special about it or anything. Just a wolf. I think we will leave the rest of them. There we go. Uh, 
minus 15 minutes. Might as well harvest the Aurora Wolf then. We probably will get parasites. But it's okay if we do. Can I reach him and be warm? Yeah, I can. There we go. It looked like he stopped there in front of the fire, but I think he just stopped because it was buggy. I do seem to be acting a little bit buggy. There we go. Down there. Cook, cook. So we're getting lots of cooking done here, which is fantastic. So once I get cooking level 5, I'll have already a lot of supplies for this base. This one's warm, so. And then we'll do some beach combing too. 17 minutes. Okay, let's do one more of these. Let's just warm this up. Grab these two. We're almost done with all the bear meat. Look at that. There we go. And then let's grab the guts. Might as well use the hands for that too. that there. Let's grab these. Grab a torch. Don't go out in the row unless you know that you can handle the wolves and whatnot because it's very dangerous. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I might as well read this. Oh, I'm not going to read it, I'm just going to add it to it. Oh, I doused the torch, that's strange. Okay, it's all harvested, <laughs> they even despawned. Okay. Grab, grab, and then grab this, we're almost done. I'm going to cook all of this. Uh, because I'm also going to, while we wait for this, I'm going to break this down, I think. Two hours, okay. What about this? Also two hours. Two hours. I think there is one that's smaller. Isn't there? They're all like that, okay. Two hours thirty, okay. In that case, we'll just do instead uh, do the rest of these. It's almost morning, but that's okay. Gonna eat one of these. Just get the parasite risk. I'll just live with it. Let's see if we can cook all of this. That's all the bear meat. And let's see if we can also cook all the wolf meat. Is there anything I can craft or repair? Repair this, maybe. Failed. Let's harvest this. There again. There we go. Okay. That's all the bear meat done. Then we have the wolf meat. And then we are done pretty much. 17s, that's a small one. I think I'm just gonna cook all of this. How long until I'm level five? Uh, still a little while away. But it will be nice to get this cooked. All of it. levels of cooking as well, you know. And we have the means to do it. Looks like a new day is dawning. 
Let's just do all of them. If we can. That's a small one, is it? Did not pick one up. Almost done. It's passing time now. I'm doing this very quickly, as you can see. Then we get all of it done. Right, whoops. There we are. Put one more coal on here. That. Make some water. How much is left of this? A little bit still, so we'll put one liter of water to make. And then half a liter. That should be it. There we go. We used all of it. How about that? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat another. I'm gonna take actually four of these with me. And even though I'm tired, I'm not going to go inside just yet because it's daytime. I'm going to do one more thing before I do. We have matches and everything. Yeah. Okay. Nice. We leveled up cooking quite a bit too. Still a little while though. All right. So that was great. And there's one more thing I would like to do before we end this. Let's see here. So I'm going to go and show you beach combing and I'll sleep in the, the nearby, um, this is burned down. So the only thing that's up is this house. I'll loot this house later. Not right now. There's out. How wide is my parasite risk? 19%. I just, ugh, whatever. It, it is what it is. So I'm going to loot the rest of this later, but for now I'm just going to show you that there is such a thing as beach combing. So let me explain if you've never seen this before. So in any region that has a coast, you can comb for items, that is to say loot items that have washed the shore. You don't see them wash the shore, but if you go to the edge where there is um, uh, a, the, like the, where the water is, you can see things washed up and you can pick them up. And you can find all sorts of things. Normally you'll find things like wood or a fish or a stick, stuff like that. But you can also find things like scrap metal, which could be great for you to use. Uh, you can also find things like uh, cloth and that sort of thing, shoes. So you can find all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to show you now how that works. It basically works that it, you can only do this in areas that have a coast which is Desolation Point, Crumbling Highway, uh, Coastal Highway, and Bleak Inlet. Only those four regions so far have a coastline, and in those four regions you can go to the edge of the ice and you can look and you'll see there might be items there for you to loot. However, you might be too tired, I'm sorry, they might be on ice that can break, so if you try and get out there, you're actually going to uh, fall through the ice. You have to be a little bit careful. And this is something that's been in the game for a while, but the reason I want to show it now is because they're actually changing it. I don't know exactly how they're changing it, but with the part two of the DLC, which is the Tales from the Far Territory DLC, they are changing how beachcombing works. Now, how has that changed? I don't know, but I thought I would take this opportunity to, to show you just what it looked like before, before they change it. And then we can go back and do it again in the same run and see how it's different. How about that? So uh, here we go. Here you can see the end of the ice over here. You can see it's starting to crack and break. Uh, so that's where the um, 
uh, the, the water begins. If you try and step into the water, you'll fall in and become soaked, which we don't want, of course. But we're going to see if there's any items along it. The, the various where they are. Uh, it's not always anything right here, but there is usually stuff over there by that island. So we'll go and check that out. But let's go do that, shall we? And just keep an eye out. Just look towards the edge of the ice. See if you can see some sort of color change. Something black or brown or something just sticking out. And then that will be what you're looking for. Any kind of item. And in most cases, you will find a stick, wood, a fish, uh, a tinder plug, you know, something not really worthwhile. But sometimes you do find cloth, um, scrap metal. Uh, you can also find saplings. I don't think that's anything. I think that's just a stick on a thingy. Uh, saplings is probably the best thing you can find. But here, we're just going to look along the edge here, see if we can see anything. And I don't see anything right now, but I think over there by the, the island, there'll be some there. We're going to check that out. We'll loot this other stuff later. This wolf, I think, has detected me, so I might have to kill him. And that's okay if we do. We'll, we'll check out the fishing huts later. Don't get too close to this, or you will fall in. He hasn't detected me yet. Yeah, he's going the other way at the moment. I'm not going to use all my torches. I always want to have at least one torch ready. Has he seen me yet? No. Okay, good. Okay, so here there's usually also some stuff. So let's just have a look here. You're just going to go along the ice like this. And just pay attention to the edge of the ice and see if you see anything, like anything at all. And you might have to run and grab it, um, but not always. Sometimes you can walk onto it. Uh, here you can see this. This is beach coming actually. Here it is. It's, it's popping up now. So here you can see these sphinx are the edge of the ice. In this case, it's quite close to where I can stand, so I can just go and pick up. As you can see, it's just a stick. Here it's also just a stick. And then it's a tinder plug. And then we have actually a very rare find. Look at this. Maple sapling. Oh, ice is breaking. And that is the best. So this is one of the reasons you can, in, in theory at least, you can survive forever in the long dark with uh, and having a bow. Because you can find one of these washed up ashore. And then you can also find birch sapling washed ashore. You can find scrap metal washed ashore. And then you can make uh, arrowheads, you can make bows, uh, you can make the arrows, and then you can hunt, you know? And with the mag lens, uh, you can make a fire. And then you got everything you want. That's it. That's uh, that's beach coming for you right there. And you can keep checking. We're not gonna go the, the whole round though. But you can keep checking um, the edges. Now they are changing that, so the DLC as of this video, part one of the DLC, the Tales of the Far Territory is out, uh, but you might be watching this video, depending on when I release it, you might be watching this video after part two comes out. Uh, so that means that it will have changed and I will definitely go back and check it later to see how different it is, if at all. But well, that's how it works uh, at, as of this video, at least. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here and save. And then we can do some more looting and... And, uh... Yeah, just uh, continue exploring Coastal Highway. Let's do that. We'll loot this later. Let's just head to the bed. And we'll do some notes. Alright, so let's see. Note. We're going to loot CH. Including this house. Plus house by Quonset. I think I misspelled that. There we are. Okay, nice. And let's just sleep for like one hour.
And there we go. All right, fellow survivors, that was Coastal Highway and getting into that. And as you can see, it's great. It was this always then, I didn't see it. <laughs> um, uh, we already killed a bear, cooked the whole bear, killed two wolves. So we got food supplies. It's just that uh, we have parasite risk with them. So I should really get some deer, but we have to see if we get parasite. If I do get parasite anyway, it won't make a difference. Then I can just eat the bear meat. But still lots to loot. We have to loot uh, quite a few more buildings, quite a few more edges. It's going to take a little while to do all of that. And then after we've done all of that, we'll probably go to the desolation point, I guess. Uh, so there's still quite a lot of stuff to do here and find. I would like to find a hammer if I can, because then I can make a new knife in the desolation point, which would be good. <laughs> we'll have to see about that. But anyway, anyways, that was a coastal highway for now. I'll see you next time, survivors. Bye bye.